what it is what it do with y'all man bro we're back at again with another crazy video now look i got my boy officer tatum on the other side of me you know what i'm saying not literally but y'all y'all see what i'm trying to say like he's on the screen all right so uh, i came across a video of his a woke professor wants to wipe white people out now when i seen that i was trying to find an original video but apparently i guess this video is years old and then and when i seen the original video it was like four like i think an hour long i don't know it was something like that and i was just like dang bro i don't want to skip through everything trying to find this one so you know what we're just going to react to it together uh without further ado man hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications me and officer tatum always got the same kind of thoughts but i'm gonna try to get my own point of view and hopefully we don't say the same god dang thing but without further ado man hit the like button let's get it let's go promised i'm gonna play this clip from this rucker ruckers profession uh professor I almost said professional. She's definitely not a professional. Uh, she was the one dumb enough to say that obesity is racism and black people are fat because of white racism and that the stress responses uh, for oppression of all these years. Like, I hate when people talk about black women being obese. I hate it because it becomes a way to blame us for a set of conditions that we didn't create. We are living in the Trump era. And look, those policies kill our people. You can't get access to good health care, good insurance. The research says that black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower. And what public health practitioners think is that our stress responses in the body change our metabolism. It's literally that the racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you to talking about like oh my god no this is not even the clip i was talking about it's another clip that's like further down the, i wasn't even talking about this clip. but what the, what is you talking about seriously what are you talking what do race has to do with anything with you losing weight this is how you lose weight i'm gonna give you the quickest tip ever you ain't gotta take the same diet as a white person that's it's, it's so simple even if you do take the same diet as a white person, you will still lose the weight. You just have to be disciplined. It's all with discipline. That's it. Bro, the reason why you're the size that you are is because you're not disciplined. I bet you still eat chips on a Saturday night, sitting there eating, sitting there watching a great old Christmas movie. You know what I'm saying? Eating some chips, popcorn, probably got you a big family size pizza. I know you probably do all them type of things. But this is how you lose that weight. This is, this is exactly how you lose it. All you got to do is to... It, let me see. Four, four it, look, look, this is all you go to the gym. That's that's it. That's, that's it. It's so simple. Oh my gosh, it's so simple. Eat healthy, eat right, eat your veggies, get your protein in, eat shakes. I mean, eat shakes. You got me losing brain cells. I drink shakes and go to the gym. That is how you lose the weight that you want to lose. That's it. Race ain't got nothing to do with anything. You black people need to take accountability for your own freaking actions. Y'all blame white people for every single thing. Now we blame white people because you're obese? <laughs> what do the white people got to do with anything? What? Oh, I'm, I'm confused. I'm literally confused. What do the white women, white people in general, has to do with anything? They ain't got nothing to do with the size that you are. Nothing at all. You are the size that you are because you like to eat good. Same with me. I like to eat good, but this is the thing that I do. I don't sit there and blame white people for the reason that I'm the weight, the size that I'm in, uh, the size that I am. I'm not big. I'm not fat. I'm not none of that. Okay. I'm a, I'm just a little buff. That's it. But I eat just regular. I eat very unhealthy, but I work out. I work it out. I try my best to eat less meals a day. So sometimes I may go just eat one meal. Sometimes I may eat two meals. I try to eat less, but I just work out. That's it. That's all you got to do. You can eat how you want to eat. Just eat less and work out. Drink your shakes. Boom. <sighs> oh, my gosh. This is... <laughs> I swear. Bro. It's literally that the racism that you are experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. I died. If we eat the same diet as the white man, it don't work the same. And she 400 pounds. And then the woman next to her is black and she fit. Tell me how oppression her black. Wait, I didn't even peep that. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, no freaking way. No, fr girl, you know you want to say something. T t look, 
This, we got to help each other out. We got to allow, we got to take responsibility, accountability for our actions. Come on, man. Help this woman out. Look at you. You looking all nice. You're all shaped. You're all in shape. And then you sitting next to it means the diet don't work for you the same. I died. If we eat the same diet as the white man, it don't work the same. And she 400 pounds. And then the woman next to her is black and she fit. Tell me how oppression hurt black people. What about the lady next to you? All right. Let me show you another clip she did that make I think she's absolutely insane. And this is one of the most racist things I've heard. But, you know, she's not going to lose her job at Rutgers. Clip seven. Wrote a clip. I think that white people are committed to being villains in the aggregate, right? The real sort of issue here, and I, you know, I've heard people sort of say it, is one, I think that white people viscerally fear. It's not that white people don't know, right, what they have done. They know. They fear that there is no other way to be human but the way in which they are human. The thing I want to say to you is we got to take these mother out but i know but like we can't say that africans and indigenous people being brilliant and you know libraries and inventions and you know vibrant i'm sorry we're we not gonna skip past that like she just didn't say what she just said did she just say that we need to wipe these mfs out did you just say that we need to wipe white people did, oh my <laughs> this shows who has privilege in america Let's be real. This shows exactly what race has privilege. I po if I post this video right now on Instagram, I'm going to get so much hate from my own community of black people. So much hate. Because they're going to say, oh, you're just for the white man. That she's telling the truth. But it's crazy because let a white person say we need to wipe out black people. Oh, my gosh. It, bro, they will lose their job. They would never have another job. They will lose their house. They will lose their car. They will lose so many different things. But we say, oh, white people privileged. They have their privilege card. No, it seems like black people are privileged because you could just go on the internet, say things like this, and not get canceled because you're black. Who has the real privilege? <laughs> you can say things like, oh, white people is the reason why we're obese. We obese. We want to away because white people. You sound dumb. You sound dumb, bruh. You people get on my nerves. I swear. The way in which they are human. The thing I want to say to you is we got to take these motherfuckers out. But I know, but like, we can't say that. Africans and indigenous people being brilliant and, you know, libraries and inventions and, you know, vibrant notions of humanity and cross-cultural exchange long before white people showed up being raggedy and violent and terrible and trying to take everything from everybody. White human beings thought there's a world here and we own it. Prior to them, black and brown people have been sailing across oceans, interacting with each other for centuries without total subjugation, domination, and colonialism. I mean, does that give people comfort on the day to day when you like just having to deal with white folks and the tra you know, the travesties that they create and the sense that they want to destroy the planet? Nah. Can you believe she said that? Now switch white people with Jews. How long will she last? This is what she said. Huh. We we know we need to get rid of them mother. You, you what? You need yep, she'll be. Ooh, see, Psh, they don't want to hear, it, officer. They don't want to hear it. Get rid of white. You just said you need to get rid of white people. Yeah. And, and she like it's crazy to me. Like, I, like if you live in a glass house, you can't throw rocks. You're talking about destruction. Have you seen the continent of Africa? Before the white man was taken up, have you seen how Native Americans got the land they got? Nope. Scalping other natives? She ain't know. Black folks today, <laughs> lady, have you seen uh, the south side of Chicago? Nope. She have not seen the west side of Chicago. <laughs> I'm from out west. I'm from the west side of Chicago. Uh, and, and oh, no, I was born on the west side of Chicago and I moved on the south side of Chicago and I was raised on the south side. Then I end up moving to where I'm at now. But th that's the thing, they don't know. They seriously don't know. She don't know, Mr. Tatum. She don't know, it don't matter how much we try to break it down for these people, they always got some type of re bull crap rebuttal that don't even make sense. Cause all they think about is the race. They always think about race this and race that, race this and race that. Me personally, I don't know why we have so much hate towards white people today 
because of what one white person done did. It's now don't get me wrong. It's a lot of racist white people in today's in today's world, but it's also a lot of racist black people. It's also a lot of racist uh, Hispanics. It's a lot of racist everybody. I think we all got some type of racism in us, whether you want to believe it or not. I think we all got some little bit of racism. We all say things that, that discriminate another person color. I'm going to be honest. It's a lot of times that black people have been racist towards me and I have been racist back towards black people. That shows that I have a little bit of racism in me. It may be some dark humor, but it's still racism at the end of the day. It's a lot of times where I done joked with a white person. They said racist things to me, but I didn't take it personal. But I said some racist things back to them. It may be dark humor, but at the end of the day, it's still racism. We all have some type of racism in us. Whether you admit it or not, you are racist in some type of way, some type of shape or form. You have some little bit of racism in in you. You can't tell me, oh, I'm not racist. I'll never be racist. I'll never be racist. I'm, 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 I'm just that guy. No, you know you're not. Sit your butt down. You know you're not. You tell me, tell me about destruction. You, you remember the genocide? Nope. What was the Hutu and Tutsi? Uh, there, I may be saying them wrong. I think it was those two tribes. Killed, uh, killed uh, almost a million people in a hundred days. But you, but the white man is bad. I, I just can't understand how these people can keep a job and they say some of the most evil things that I've ever heard in my life. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. They just don't know, man. They don't know, Mr. Tatum. Man, I love Officer Tatum. I love how he break down things. I love his 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 humor. I love him. I love Officer Tatum. But that's the thing. They just don't know. And I don't like the fact that she's like, we always blame white people this and white people that. And we say so much stuff, bro. And you know what's crazy? Uh, I was talking about oppression on my Instagram. I need y'all to stay for this real quick. I was talking about oppression on my Instagram, right? And literally somebody in the conversation said, oh, you say black people are not oppressed. Then what can you say about Kyrie and Kanye? First of all, they wasn't even talking about white people. Okay, let, let's get that right. They was talking about a group of people you do not want to talk about. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's let's really get that. Let, let's get that situated. You people, y'all, y'all think everything is the white man, white man this, but I'm not even gonna say what it really is because I'm not trying to get canceled myself. But y'all let that be. Okay. Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the post notifications. Been your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Let's get it. <laughs>